I remember it like it was yesterday. At eight years old, seeing dad win really, really stuck. All I wanted to do was be like my dad. I couldn't imitate him enough. Three, two, one, go! In the back end of the game, is wearing bib number five is Lance Mackey. Back in 1978, Father Dick won the Iditarod by one second. Lance Mackey's on his way to home. That's it. All right, all right, all right. That's it, gentlemen. When I was young, people would ask me, are you related to Dick Mackey? It was a pretty big deal. Good job, guys. Winning the Iditarod was definitely my ultimate goal. It's a 1,000 miles over some of Mother Nature's worst terrain. I just wanted to accomplish what very few people have. That's it. All right, all right. Out of boys. I tell people all the time when they ask me, when did you start racing? I say, before I was born. He really did start mushing before he was born. I was seven months pregnant with him <laughs> when I was in the North American race. He had his little foot right under my rib cage. And every time I'd kick, he'd kick. And he was just kicking his way out. He wasn't very big when he was born. Oh, what a little terror in there. <laughs> Lance grew up in a dog lot. When he was old enough to carry one of these little kids' beach pails in a, in a little shovel, uh, he'd be out there and he'd give them food, or he'd haul water or whatever. As soon as he was old enough, I built Lance in his own sled and sewed him up his harnesses and stuff. He entered his first race, and he won it. I mean, it was great. Every waking moment, it was something to do with dogs. Lance, are you going to boot them all? Yeah. Five, four, three. Two, one, go! Lance Mackey is on the trail. Back on the finish line will be where the banner is hanging up there. Other mushers always at the house. Our house was a congregating point, and he'd sit there and listen to all this conversation about dogs. It's hard to be in a room like that full of people and not feel the excitement that they're feeling or the energy that they're feeling. And, uh, and I want to be a part of that. 